Hey guys, Steven again. Um, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about basic materials because over the last couple of weeks I've learned quite a bit about um, what works and doesn't work for my own uses and the things that we make. And so I thought I would share a few of those things for somebody that might be having the same issues. So what I've used in the past is foam board. Um, so just this, you know, kind of uh, pieces of paper with foam in between them. And it's worked pretty well for small projects. Um, so um, like little rooms like this. Um, it works pretty well. Um, we would get a little bit of warping due to the glue though in the bottom. So you see there's got a floor. This has been base, base coated. I haven't painted it yet. Um, but if we use too much PVA or too much um, glue, then what would happen is you get this effect. And so this is a uh, base for this orc tower that I made. Um, so I've still got to paint that up, but it's, it's been base coated. And I had it mounted to a base. And I thought I'd gotten the base. It looked really, really good. I've got some of Woodland Scenics rock um, castings on there. Um, got this, you know, of course, the, the kitty litter uh, rocks on there as well. Um, and that's worked really, really well for me in the past uh, for my towers, for like four inch towers or six inch towers, uh, because it's a small base. So this base is considerably larger than those bases. And you can see what's happening, I think you can see on the camera. It's warped, so really badly warped. Um, it's sunk down in the middle, and then the outsides have raised off the table. and so. You can see this. You can see how incredibly uneven it is. And and the thing about this is I'm making everything, most of these pieces now for um, like the Warhammer uh, scenery, Warhammer Warhammer fantasy scenery, I'm making out of extremely light materials instead of all her starts, and uh, just to keep the, the weight down on shipping. And so I use a lot of balsa wood. These are actual natural willow sticks um, that I collect here locally. Uh, and a, a, at a creek locally, and so really, really, I mean, this weighs a couple of ounces, um, if that, and so there's no way that that weight is going to counteract the warping of this base. And so what I've done is I have switched from the foam core over to MDF. So um, this is an example, not MDF, um, masonite. Um, so a lot of people get that mixed up. It's, it's, and I guess they're probably almost the same thing. Um, they're both compressed uh, pulp or basically pieces of paper. Um, and so what we've done is we use switch over to this, which is masonite. And so you can get quarter inch, you can get three sixteenths, um, you can get I think eighth inch as well. And so what I've done is I switched over to this material for any of our rooms, anything where I'm going to have to basically glue things all the way across the bottom. So flocking, any kind of uh, gravel. Um, floor tiles, anything like that. If I have to put glue across the bottom, then we use this stuff because it's really, really thick. It has a nice side. This is the stuff, same stuff to make pegboards out of. And so it, this side has a really rough texture that's really good to glue to. And then the bottom side's nice and smooth. So if you have a, like a felt, uh, felt covered table, it won't slide across the table, but it also won't stick to the table. And so it has a nice, um, uh, it's a nice material for using on a, on a felt top table. Um, and then on something like this, it sods. Uh, pretty well. Um, so you can move it around if you need to, but then it'll also stay put if you want it to as well. Um, this, like I said, is very porous, so it's very, very good to glue to. Um, and you can see in this this treasure room that we're working on, this is what uh, my wife's least recent project she's working on. Um, she has glued the whole floor down to that. It's got the, the cavern floor. She's got some sand in there. So she was able to pour PVA down in here, just put sand in here, and then dump the sand out, and absolutely no warping at all. Uh, we've got some odd shaped bricks here, but um, as far as the floor, it's not warped at all. Completely flat. We put it on the table, it's completely flat, it doesn't move around. So, yeah. Um, so, works perfect. And honestly, the bigger the project, what I've noticed is the larger the project is, that it, it works even better. And so, you get that weight on the masonite and it pushes down, and then it works really, really well. Um, all the way down to little small projects, too. So, these are some. Uh, little Warhammer barrier walls that we've made out of fieldstone. This is the Hearst Arts uh, fieldstone ruins mold, and so um, and these are from the accessories molds and little bar barrels and boxes and and things like that. So I've painted that all up and flocked it, and then for these I paint the bottoms um, just a flat black, and then I've ordered some Cicada Craft logos uh, with our web, web address and everything um, stickers that will go on the bottom of our pieces that are finished like this. Um, so if anybody sees them on a gaming table and want to get more of them, then they can just flip it over and see our logo and our web address on them. Um, and so these are now in our Etsy store, and you can see it just works.
perfectly. Um, and I, all I do is I take a sheet of $5 sheets, two by four from Home Depot, two foot by four foot. Uh, I've got several sheets laying over here and then run them through the table saw. And so then you can get lots of different sizes that you need. Um, they work just really, really awesome. We've got um, these that we use for um, the little barriers. Um, then we've got uh, the ones that we use for our six inch rooms. And then we have eight inch rooms, 12 inch rooms, and then different sizes in between. Uh, one of the other things you can do with it is that you can use, um, to get a shape similar like this, is you can use a, um, a scroll saw or a, uh, a rotary tool, like a drum or something like that, and then just uh, draw out the shape that you need on the, the uh, masonite, and then just cut out this, the custom shape that you need. So you, you absolutely don't have to use square pieces. Uh, you can cut out whatever you need, and then flock and glue and everything straight on it, um, and I've not had any issues. And even if you were, I use the smallest version, so this is the um, eighth inch, I believe, and so if you were having any issues with a really large piece that you wanted to um, to base with this, then you could step up to the quarter inch or the three sixteenths, and um, you'd have more material there, so you shouldn't have any issues. I've seen some people use actual true MDF sheets, which is it's smooth all the way around. That's what my gaming table is made out of. But honestly, it is so so heavy, and so if you were shipping the pieces, um, I guess if it was a very large castle, then you'd want to use MDF. But I just can't imagine using it for anything else. Uh, besides that. So anyway, that's our experience. Um, and we've also got uh, little tents that we can use. So my wife Crystal has started making a bunch of these little tents. And so we're going to make some uh, little scenes. You can imagine if this was grass instead of uh, pebbles. Then we can make a little tent scene um, with several of these tents and then some trees on it uh, for Warhammer or Dungeons and Dragons, anything like that. So we're going to be making some of those to put on the store. Um, so lots of different um, uses for the Masonite for your projects. Another cool thing about it, if you have a table saw and you're cutting this stuff up, if you collect the dust from it, uh, it makes perfect flocking for like dirt um, or soil. Uh, all you do is just uh, collect the sawdust and then bake it in the oven to dry it out. And then you can color it or you can just um, paint it on with some PVA glue and then paint it the color you'd like. Um, but kind of the side effect of this is a very, very fine dust. So make sure you wear a uh, mask when you're cutting it because it, it does create a very, very fine sawdust. Uh, but we can collect it and use it as flocking as well. So anyway, so that is Masonite. And if anybody else has any um, basing materials that they like or they suggest, then I'd love to hear from you. Uh, remember to like, remember to subscribe, and uh, check out our Etsy store. It's acadiacrafts.com. Thanks.